Hey friends, good morning. This is Abhishek from TechWires and in this video, I'll be doing the unboxing and review of new wireless AC750 dual band router. Yes, in this video, I'll be showing you like what is the benefit of 5 gigahertz router over 2.4 gigahertz router. So here you can see that I have purchased AC750 router from Daylink. And you can see here they have mentioned that this is like uh, more faster and it goes more further like it has got more range. Now one more benefit of this router is like it's dual band like you can switch between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz at any given point of time. Also I'll try to show you like comparison between my old Wi-Fi router that is 2.4 gigahertz. Alright now let me quickly unbox this device and show you like what all things we have inside and then we'll check the performance. Alright, so as soon as you open this box, you can see that we have these things inside like we have some manual, we have some warranty card, we have the service center details. So all those things are there. So I'll just remove this. And now we have this Wi-Fi router. This Wi-Fi router has three antennas. So now you need to understand like these three antennas are not dedicated for one band. It is actually split between two bands. So the two antenna is for 2.5 gigahertz and one antenna is for 5 gigahertz. So we'll check like how does 5 gigahertz perform only with one antenna in this particular video. Now apart from this router we have this adapter. Along with this we have Ethernet cable which will help us to configure this router for the first time. So on the router you can see that we have five indicators. First one is the power one. The second one is like if 2.4 gigahertz frequency is working then 5 gigahertz frequency indicator then internet indicator and then the WPS connector indicator. Now let me turn the Wi-Fi router back and here you can see that we have lots of air vents which will help this router to keep it cool during the long term of usage. And back here you can see that we have the power button, reset button, we have the power adapter input. Then the yellow one, this router supports the RJ45 input like you need to connect your modem or if the ISP is directly providing you the RJ45 connectivity, you can just plug into the yellow port. Alright, now it's time to take you to the screen recording mode and here I'll show you like how is my internet working with 2.4 gigahertz like old router. I'm using the D-Link old router. Let me show you like I'm logging into the D-Link router here. You can see that the D-Link model is DIR605L. This is only 2.4 gigahertz router. This does not have 5 gigahertz and I am now connected using this particular router. So here you can see that I'm using this uh, D-Link router and uh, let me try testing like how is the internet speed in my case like I have 75 Mbps of internet connection so let's see how much actually I'm getting from this router so now you can see that when I am running the speed test and maximum this is going up to 27 or 28 Mbps and this is like way below than what actual speed I'm getting from my ISP and if I connect the RJ cable like RJ45 cable which is coming directly from the ISP I plug into my computer or laptop I'm getting 75 Mbps but when I'm using 2.4 gigahertz router it is drastically reducing to 28 or 30 Mbps so here you can see the result the upload and download is approximately at 28 Mbps now let me try to download one file from internet like VLC player and see like how much time does it take on my 2.4 gigahertz or the old Wi-Fi router. So let me click on this and here you can see that download is getting started now and it will take few seconds to start the download. Now here you can see that the download has started and you can see it is saying that it will take approximately two minute, one minute, uh, but it's going faster. So here you can see that it took approximately uh, 30 to 35 seconds of time. I'm fast forwarding the video so that you don't have to wait longer on this. All right. So here it took 35 seconds to download a 28 MB of file. So this was the test for my old router. Now what I'll do, I'll switch or I'll change the router from 2.4 gigahertz to the, this new DIR816, which is 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz and I'll try to connect using the 5 gigahertz band and see what is the difference. So as soon as you connect this router to your ISP and then you configure you will see these two options like 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. So let me try to connect to 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal. First one is the 5 gigahertz signal and I click on connect. I'll put the password what I have set on the router and click on next. It takes few seconds to connect to the uh, Wi-Fi router. 
so here you can see that it's connected now this computer is on 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi router with internet speed of 75 Mbps which I have uh, from ISP so let me check the D-Link page here you can see that this router is DIR1816 so you can see that I am connected through this particular router itself so now let me show you one thing like this Wi-Fi router has B, G, N and AC connectivity so if I go to wireless 5G it will have one more option in the mode so here if I'll show you the drop down we have A, N, A and N, AC all those options we have so we can select like okay 5 gigahertz should have AC connectivity alright now it's time to check the speed of the internet after changing the Wi-Fi router from 2.4 gigahertz to the 5 gigahertz so here I'll click on go and we'll see how is the performance so you can see that the speed test is starting and you can see the difference clearly like it is going to 75 80 81 mbps I'm actually having 75 mbps of internet connection but it's going up to 88 mbps connection maybe this is because like ISP gives some kind of extra buffer if like internet speed reduces then we should not go below 75 mbps so here you can see that the upload speed is even bet better like I'm getting 93 mbps upload speed which is way more than the 2.4 gigahertz router what we tested before so here is overall result the download speed is 89.30 and upload is 92.10 mbps now let me do the second test that is the download of vlc player through internet so i'll just go to the vlc download and i'll select the vlc official page and here you can see that the vlc is approximately 28 mb and when I click on start download it will take some seconds to start the download and as soon as it start I'll show you and here you can see that this is way quicker it took almost four seconds so that's like comparatively it's very fast in 2.4 gigahertz it took 35 seconds and in 5 gigahertz it took only four seconds all right friends so this was my complete review for this router as well as the comparison between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz router now let me tell you the drawback of this router this router does not have good Wi-Fi signal for 5 gigahertz band because it has only one antenna dedicated to 5 gigahertz band but two antennas are given to 2.4 gigahertz so if you're planning to buy this particular router make sure that all your 5 gigahertz devices like AC devices are close by to this router now if you're planning to buy this router for 2.4 gigahertz speed then we don't have any issues you can use it as a normal router all right friends so this was my complete review i hope you liked it if you like do subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up to this video and if you have any other question for this particular router please mention in the comments below and i will definitely respond to those comments and please don't forget to check out my facebook page because you can win iphone 7 when this channel reaches 50,000 subscribers till then have a nice day bye bye